In this video, let's finalize our crave for gameplay and detect if there's collision between us and the turret so that we can hide behind walls and the turret will not notice us. Okay, to do so, we can simply extend our artificial intelligence code here by adding certain things before the return true. You know, as long as we add it before the return true, the rotation isn't done unless the attack can attack target function returns true. So we can add our collision script in here. Now we've already done collision before using ray casting, and that's the exact same method that we'll use here. So let's type a hit variable and define this as a ray cast hit variable. And I am having a little typo here. There we go. Now we need to check if there's collision. Check if there's collision in between turret and target. Okay, so let's add an if statement. Good old if statements, we're using them all over the place. And in this if statement, let's throw a ray cast, or in this case, let's use a line cast. It's pretty much the same thing, physics dot line cast. And then the line cast needs three variables. First one is our current position. And that will function as the first point of the line. Then next, the target position. And that will be the second part of our line. And then last but not least, the hit variable that we have defined here. Okay, so that will save the collision information inside of the hit. Now, if we're inside of this if statement, it means something is colliding with our line cast. So in this case, that could be either the player or the geometry around us, so walls or anything like that. So we need to check what this is, and we can use that by, for example, looking at the tag of the player. So if hit.collider.gameObject dot tag not equals our player so that means if we are not colliding with our player then let's print something in our debug window and say there's an item in the way and the item is hit dot collider dot game object dot name and this will print the name of the item that is in the way so that if we walk through the level to debug things we know exactly what is in the way and this will uh, prove to be pretty cool in a second I'll show you that alright let's add the else statement and type print and we'll need to we'll notify here that our line cast is in fact hitting our player so let's say player detected so that means our turret is gonna go crazy and then return hit dot transform or in this case let's just use return true alright now this should work let's double check if we have any errors in our script nothing is popping up so let's play and right now it says player detected but let's hide away against this cube and it says item in the way cube very nice now we're detected again let's go through the door and as soon as we oh we're actually out of range here okay let's test this again and move this one a little closer to the wall play player detected and now as soon as we hide away behind the wall it will say item in the way wall very nice now our range is a little short so we could change that for the big turret eventually but our code is working so very nice we can be out of range we could be hiding against walls and our rotation damping is slower now it's quite a bunch of script but still if you look at the uh, script that we have it's not that long it still almost fits one page if you would print this 
So very powerful coding here going on in Unity 3D. Not a whole lot of lines going on. And so next, let's try and attach this script and I'll show you what complications you might walk into as soon as you start attaching a perfectly good script to a model that has multiple items. So let's go there next and make sure that we have some spectacular stuff going on as soon as our turret works. I really can't wait.